Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on this math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started, okay? Because as you know, you always have quite a bit to cover. So what we're working on today is multiplying two-digit by two-digit numbers, okay? So let's go ahead and let's take a look at our first sample, which is right here on the left-hand side. We're doing 84 times 43. And I'm going to share with you the recipe so that we can be successful whenever we're multiplying two-digit by two-digit numbers, okay? So as you notice here, I'm going to start in the ones place with the 43, okay? And I'm going to multiply up. First, I'm going to put multiply 3 times 4. Then I'm going to multiply 3 times 8. So let's see how that looks like, okay? Whoops, I went back too far. I went a little too far there. Let's go back up, okay? All right, so let's just stay here. So 3 times 4 is 12. I'm going to put the 1 here, the 2 down here, okay? Then I'm going to do 3 times 8 is 24 plus 1 is 25, and I'm going to put that there, okay? Now let's take a look at the next step. Let's recap, okay? 3 times 4 is 12, 1 goes there, 2 down there. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 1 is 25. 25 goes there. Now, before I even start to multiply this one, the tens place, I'm going to have to put my 0 right there, my 0, my line, and my plus. Have that ready, okay? So let's go ahead and recap, okay? We have 84 times 43. We started here. 3 times 4 is 12. Put the 1 there, the 2 there. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 1 is 25. 25 goes there. I add my 0, I add my line, I add my plus, and I'm going to cross out this 1 because I don't need that anymore, okay? Make sure you cross that one out if you don't need it, and we won't need it anymore because we might have to put another number up there, and we don't want to get confused. So cross it out. Next step is to multiply the number in the tens place, which is this 4 here. And we're going to multiply 4 times 4, then 4 times 8, okay? So 4 times 4 is 16. My 1 goes there. My 6 goes down here. Then I do 4 times 8 is 32, plus 1 is 33. And I put my 33 down here. Now please take note of this, boys and girls. When you're doing this, I need you to make sure that you're writing your numbers straight, okay? Because if we don't, then we're going to add the wrong numbers. And I've seen children make this mistake far too often. So you don't want to make this mistake. We don't want to multiply everything correctly and then all of a sudden get confused and make a silly mistake because our numbers are not lined up correctly. Look how that 2 and that 0 is. Lined up nice and straight. Look at the 5 and the 6. Lined up nice and straight. Look at the 2 and the 3 lined up nice and straight, and the 3, I'm not adding it to anything right there. But they're all lined up straight. So let's go ahead and recap, okay? Last step. So here we have 3 times 4 is 12. 1 goes there, 2 goes there. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 1 is 25. 25 goes there, okay? I add my 0, I put my line, I put my plus. Now I'm going to cross out that 1. I don't need that 1 anymore. Now we're going to multiply the 4. Ready? 4 times 4 is 16. Put my 1 right there, my 6 right there. 4 times 8 is 32. Plus 1 is 33. My 33 goes down here. Now I'm going to add. 2 plus 0 is 2. 5 plus 6 is 11. Put my 1 there, my 1 down here. 3 plus 2 is 5. Plus 1 more is 6. My 6 goes there. And 3 plus nothing is 3. I just move the 3 down, and that's it. Then i got to count from the left to the right. I'm sorry, from the right to the left. Sorry about that. One, two, three, comma, and we have our answer. 3,612. Therefore, 84 times 43 equals 3,612. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, okay? And let me remind you, boys and girls, please watch this lesson as often as you need to. I want you to be successful. I want you to do an outstanding job, okay? So now we have 31 times 74. We're going to start with the ones place down here, and we're going to multiply up. 4 times 1, then 4 times 3, okay? 
So let's get started. So here we have 4 times 1 is 1. I'm sorry, 4 times 1 is 4. Let's put the 4 there. 4 times 3 is 12. My 12 goes there. Okay, next step and let's recap. Ready? 4 times 1 is 4. Let's put the 4 there. 4 times 3 is 12. My 12 goes there. Now, before I even start multiplying that 7, I need to add my 0, add my line, add my plus. And remember, let's put the numbers nice and straight. Let's align them nice and straight so we don't get confused once we start to add. Let's go ahead and let's recap and let's work on the next step. You ready? Awesome. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Let's put the 12 there. We added our 0, we added our line, we added our plus. Now we're going to multiply the tens place where the 7 is at. And we're going to multiply up. 7 times 1, then 7 times 3. Okay? So let's do it. 7 times 1 is 7. Let's put the 7 there. And then we're doing 7 times 3 is 21. Let's put the 21 down here. Okay? And our last step we're going to add. But let's recap. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 goes there. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 goes there. Add our 0. Add our line. Whoops, look at that. I didn't even put my plus there. And add our plus. Okay? We need a plus there. Then we're going to multiply. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 goes down here. 7 times 3 is 21. 21 goes there. And then we're going to add. Look at how nice and straight these numbers are. Okay? 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 7 is 9. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus nothing is 2. So we're going to start from the right and move towards the left. 1, 2, 3, comma. 31 times 74 is 2,294. Again. 31 times 74 equals 2,294. And that's it, boys and girls. That's it. Now, let me remind you that your parents have a PDF file of 20 pages worth of practice problems. Again, do I really want you to do all 20 pages worth of practice problems all at once? Absolutely not. I want you to take your time. I want you to get this right. I want you to get the strategy right and the recipe right. And I want you to do this well. That means that you're going to do one or two pages a week, and that's all. Because you have other things that you need to practice, like long division, etc. And let me remind you that if you haven't mastered your multiplication facts yet, you need to do that as soon as possible, okay? That's going to make your life so much easier. And I want you to, I want these problems to be easy for you, okay? I really, really do. And you have to listen to me. I know what's best. And you have to trust me. You have to memorize your multiplication facts as soon as possible, boys and girls, if you don't already know them. So parents, with that said, thank you so very much. Boys and girls, we'll see you at the very next lesson. And in the meantime, everyone, please take care. Bye-bye.